you go out and clean the put the clothes in the morning and when you come back in the afternoon you put the soil clothes in the morning when they're all dirty and when you come back the matinee you find them all clean madam may i not ask you in the magic washing machine you put the dirty clothes in when you come back in the afternoon you find them all clean and one of the best features about it is that Tessie, you're letting your enthusiasm just run away with you. Now, you better let me take care of this, or you'll have a seat. Well, it would take eight acts of vaudeville to get a tumble out of this mob. Well, maybe so, but I don't see any acrobats handy, so I'll have to open the show. Professor, it's Monday morn. You're feeling blue. A great big wash awaiting you. I'll put a magic in your home. A magic in your home? And you'll surrender, dear. A ten days' trial. We'll give you free the difference then you're bound to see. Without it, life can't be the same. A life can't be the same. You surrender, dear. By those long days spent at the wash tub, week after week it's the same. Rubbing your nails to the bone. Oh, but I don't care who's to blame. You're not to blame. I know. Ten days trial, we'll give you free. The difference then, you're bound to see. Oh, me? I'll send a magic COD. A magic COD. I know. You'll surrender. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty good, aren't we? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Ladies, when you see the magic in operation, you not only will applaud, you'll cheer. You said it. I will give you a little demonstration of what occurs around here. Oh, it's ruined. It's ruined. Ordinarily it would be, but we didn't name this the magic because we can pull rabbits out of it. I'll say we did. And we'll give you another little demonstration. Well, we're going to dish a little dirt for you, Pip. Oh. What are you going to say about this? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something. This sweater is ruined. Well, you just take it off and we'll fix that for you in a minute. I don't want to have you dissatisfied, disappointed around here because you look like a nice old guy. Keep it right on. Well, how ducky this is then. Fascinating, eh, lady? What a gala array. Fix it! Why, we'll have your sweater as good as new before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson. Thank you, my friend. I always hate Monday. No, well, you wouldn't if your husband would get you one of those washing machines he's trying to sell. As soon as Dingy sells a hundred, he get one free. Oh, free? Why, if you'd have married Percy Howard, the place would be full of washing machines. And your Uncle Joe could have a little comfort. Not to mention the luxury. When I married Ding, I didn't expect to live in a palace. <laughs> you weren't disappointed. Believe me, you weren't disappointed. I... Oh, you don't sit there. Oh, isn't there any place in this house that a man can sit down? Oh, that water was boiling. Did it burn you? Pardon me. You know what it does to eggs in three minutes. Now, leave me can alone. You? No, you're making it worse. Thanks, Ding, now. This early? <laughs> He's probably been fired again. Oh, Uncle. Uh, Hello? Oh, honey, what do you think has happened? Uncle says you've been fired again. Oh, never mind that old fuss budget. I've been promoted. And we're going to California. So pack all our clothes at once. You think you put it on right? Yeah. Even the sleeves don't fit. Where did you buy it? In this store. Oh, well, I'll take it up with the manager. No! I'll take it up with that nitwit. Sure. Where is he? He's in the telephone booth. Let's get a baseball bat. Mm. Well, I'll have to call you back in a minute. You... You wait right there, someplace. I beg your pardon. Where's he going with the bag? Come out of here, you big sieve, and take your medicine. You won't. It's a dummy. I saw you in the wrestling match last night. Yeah. You were great. Yeah. You wish to use the telephone. Yes, sir, you're a fan. Thank you. I wish I had that headlock of yours right now. I sure could use it. I want to get Pennsylvania. One, two, oh, oh. Why, hello, Carol. Oh, how are you, Dangle? It's be great to see you again. How are you anyway? Oh, I'm looking for Nathan. Hey, can you still take those headlocks? <laughs> now you're using your head. Mr. Nelson will adjust your little difficulties, I guess. I'll be running along. Just a few playful things we used to do. Oh, oh I'm sorry, lady. Oh, Mr. But I, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Now. Oh, oh. Have you seen anything of that washing machine, dummy? Have you seen anything of that washing machine salesman?
Hey, officer, how far is it to California? California Avenue? Let's see. No, the state of California. Yeah, out there by the Pacific Ocean, near Hollywood, you know. Well, you go down here four blocks, four then blocks. turn to the left three blocks, oh, and then go straight ahead. Thank that's you. Well, what if I get off the main highway? Well, you get back on it again. Oh, that's simple. Well, we'll send you a box of oranges. Shut up, boy. <laughs> Back in Hoboken for the summer? No, we're still on our way to California. Huh? What? Yes, we almost got there, but we had to make a little detour. Didn't you take highway number three? Yeah, we took every highway up to 303. Well, what can I do for you now? You can tell us how to get to California. Well, you go down here four blocks. Turn to the left, three blocks. And go straight ahead. Right. Hold them to get off the main highway. Very simple. You get right back on it. Oh, do we have to go through all that again? Well, the first time was just a rehearsal. Don't forget my orange. Oh, we make it this time. You get two boxes of orange. <laughs> troubles in dreams, and you can dream your troubles away, until that sunshine peeps through, there's only one thing to do, wrap your troubles in dreams, dream your troubles away, castles may tumble, that's made after all. Life's really funny that way. No use to grumble, smile as they fall. Weren't you king for a day? Remember, untie. Always follow the rain. Wrap your troubles in dreams. And you can dream your troubles away. When the eyes are cloudy and gray, they're only gray for a day. Wrap your troubles in dreams. Dream your troubles away. Castles may tumble, that's fate after all. Life's really funny that way. Ain't no use sitting round. <laughs> Weren't you king for a day? Just remember, sunshine. Mm, Always follow the rain. <laughs> Wrap your troubles in dreams. <laughs> and you can dream your troubles. Away. She do wash herself. Here, here, here. You can't tear that up. She don't do that. Me no one washing machine. Maybe you don't understand. This is the finest washing machine in the American country. Me understand. Me no want monkey business. Come on, get out of here. You're going to lose your scalp. You catch them. Well, maybe you're right. So far, it's uh, only a ball phone. Well, come, come, kitty. Go to bed. Go. A kiwi we.
What is it? A chip straw? What oh. is this? Oh, maybe she come over for a washing machine. Big. Want a partner like Jeff's papa. Hey, you get out of here right away before the rest of these people wake up. How long has she been here? Why ask us? Yes, that's what sure, we'd all like to know. Want to talk her? You go back to your chief. No, me no like chief now. You don't belong here. This man is married to me. That's all right. I'd be squaw number two. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Now, why well, I'm squaw number one. Oh, keep still. It's a darn good chance to get rid of me. Get okay, rid of me? Say, what do you mean, get rid of me? Don't I know that? You know Percy Howard is waiting for you. Why, why do you fit cracking around here about Percy Howard? You've been getting too squares. Is that so? Well, he isn't a darn old washing machine well, salesman. I'll tell you that. that bad racket. Go down I shot him up. Oh. Now you go home to your, no, you go home to Chief Vanderbilt. Go on. I like you much. You pack your troubles and dreams with me, huh? No, no. You you pack your wig one back to Chief Vanderbilt. No, no, it? no. Me like that. Yes. Bing bang. I'll give you exactly two minutes to get rid of that woman. Well, honey, I asked her to go. He asked her to go. Yeah. Well, at least you can get her off your lap. You think so? Not without blasting. Oh, you know, still no more washing machines. I got a oil lamp. Oh well, that's just dandy, I'm sure. But uh oh, the boys are here. Hi, Chief. Squaw like you, you take her. Me like white squaw. Oh, oh eat Jay's on the ache, may better That's eat it, Jay. Oh. It's May on the acting crane. Well, you catch on, huh? You've been around, I guess. Well, we better get out of here before we all get Hey, listen, out. Hey, you can't go away and leave me now with this bimbo here. Hey, come back here. Go, oh, come here. Oh, uh, you take. You got her. Me no want her. You coming to my wigwam, huh? You're going to your wigwam, but you're going alone. No. Now, go on home. No. Go on. You go. Come on, get out of here. I'll probably see you around sometime. Mm. Well, this is nice. If you boys don't mind, I think I'll be dangling along. Out! Out! No, no, no! Out! Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Come on, Bing! Hurry up! Hey, look at Love and kisses from Honky Dog. Are you hurt? No, no, I wish you'd have kept him there. That's a pretty steep climb, isn't it? Act like you don't see it. Yes, Bing, yes, really is a steep climb. Is he in the doghouse? Is he? He ought to be chained there. Did you go for a little music? I'd climb the highest mountain. If I thought that when I climbed that mountain, I find you. I'd swim the deepest river. If I thought that when I swam that river, I find you. Without you, dear, my life. Nothing to me, no matter where you are, that's where I want to be. I pray to get to heaven. If I thought that when I got to heaven, I find you. What are you so happy about? Happy? I'm not. I'm saddest when I think. Yeah, so are the rest of us. Oh, is that so? Oh! Oh, boy, how are your friends? I haven't had any since St. Louis. Oh, hold that thing away. Stop oh, it up. Oh, oh, horse feathers. Oh, I could never stand two of those. Look out, Bing. Ooh. Hey, take it easy around these curves, will ya? Stay back. There's a car, look out. What fun is that little roller? Surveying the debris? Oh, you scatterbrain, you. Careful. Bump! Water, yeah. I look here, it's a little bit. Maybe it's too deep. Come on, look here, it's only about six inches deep. Just a little casual water. All right, go ahead. There you go. It hasn't been for you. Oh, 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 Thank you.
You better not be staying up too late tonight. I'll tell you, Farino leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning. And in six weeks, you won't be Mrs. Bangs any longer. No, she'll be Mrs. Percy Howard. <laughs> Just one more chance. 